All right, guys. Um, <clears throat> kind of sick right now, but the show must go on. Um, today we're gonna be showing off this rainbowed LR Super Saiyan Vegeta. Um, this video might be a little quicker than normal, just because I am recording this the day that you are seeing it. Breaking the fourth wall right now. It is 3:33 p.m. I hope this will be up in like two, three hours. I don't know. I most of the time I record a whole bunch of videos, but. I was super sick all week. I'm finally rebounding right now. Um, but anyways, let's just talk about this team real quick. Um, just a quick disclaimer, this guy could get much higher on JP because the LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta leader skill uh, gives him an extra 100% like it, when you combine both leads. But like, he'll get pretty high here, especially if we get him linked up with this Bardock with Trellis on rotation. because. This Bardock gives him, I think it's Saiyan Pride, and Super Saiyan, and Golden Warriors. I'm pretty sure. And if you linked him up with another Vegeta unit, I think he would get like one more attack link active. But Bardock also has a 30% uh, support type passive. So that's why I decided to use Bardock over another like Vegeta unit. Um, Yeah, we'll keep him here. Alright, so this is him on a 15 key attack without part of his passive active. So here he's gonna, and he doesn't, he doesn't have any links active either. Here he's gonna be at like 600k. Okay, 800k. But remember his passive not active. He has no links active. Okay. Now that second part of his passive is active. Um, so next rotation, I'm not sure if I said this or not, I'm just gonna float Bardock, and then we'll have the rotation that we wanted. Um, yeah. This should work out. Um, and in case if we can't get like perfect situations, uh, yesterday, like, because I awakened this Vegeta yesterday and I tested him out, um, and I got him to 2.9. And if we can't get him that high in this video for some reason, I'll just put that footage at the end. Because I realized when I was doing it, I was like, this is going to be like as high as he can get on a 130 team. And the crazy thing about that 2.9 attack stat that I saw is that, remember, he had two more attacks coming after that. Like, obviously, he just killed the boss, but if he didn't... Oh, yeah, this this guy can Goku's here because he changes orbs, and that's basically it. So, again, this time he does have his passive active, but he does not have any links active. So, this is 17 key. What's he going to... He's over a million. Yeah, he's over a million here. And then, remember, more than one attack coming. This is Vegeta. A lot of people are like, not, I don't want to say this right, but a lot of people are like, uh, is Trunks better or is Vegeta better? And a lot of people are saying that Trunks is better. I don't think that Trunks is better. Um, I think that Trunks works better on the teams that he's on, but if you're just looking at these units, Vegeta is definitely better. Because I would probably, I wouldn't even probably, I would say like for sure that there are more, wow, Double Evolution Blue Vegeta Transformation. Um, I would say there are more rebirth units on the hybrid Saiyans team than there are on the uh, pure Saiyans team. For some reason, I couldn't remember what that was called. Um, and because of that, I feel like Trunks fits a little bit better on his team, but Vegeta vacuum seal him, put him like all by himself. And Vegeta's also kind of hurt because he's an extreme type. If he was a super type and you could use him on super in, I feel like he'd be a lot better. Did I just give them supers? Because if I did, I didn't mean to. Eh, it doesn't matter. We're going up against... I thought we were already on the Super Saiyan 3 phase. <clears throat> Alright. Now. Goku, come on. Come on. Also, I apologize if, like, the thumbnail for this video is, like, really... Like, just a zoomed-in shot of the Vegeta, because I'm pretty sure that's what it's gonna be. Alright, so he's gonna get hit first. Um... We're gonna use this so that we can get him... I think this will be max key. Hold up, let's see. Yeah, that's, that's Max Key, faux show. So here he'll have his passive active. Here he's going to be at like, and he has all of his links active and stuff. This is going to be a really good show. Okay, here he's at 2.4. I don't know what magic I did to get him to 2.9, but remember, this is 2.4. And then he has two more attacks coming. So he would have two more attacks coming, and then probably another attack, because uh, additionals have a chance to activate on each of his attacks. So, like, for him, what did I give him? He has 9 additional, 
So on his first attack, he gets an 18% chance to do an additional, and then for his second attack he does, and then for his third attack he does, so a lot of times he'll be doing an extra attack. Um, hmm. So now we're going to see him just with his Lincoln buddy Bardock, uh, without the 40% support from Turles. Either way, I think he's going to be looking pretty good, but his passive won't be active unless if Bardock hits him in the first slot. But, dang it, there's no way we're beating him here. I was hoping we could maybe beat Bardock here, because if we do, there's no... The agility Bardock that we're fighting after this doesn't stun. This, I mean, not stun, seal. This Bardock could seal Vegeta if he felt like supering. Because I think he has... I think he's the only unit in the game that has, like, a percent chance to seal. I don't know what exactly the percent chance is, but... I haven't used this Goku in so long. Apparently I gave him orbs, I don't know when I did that, but, you know, the more you know. And actually, apparently I have a dupe of him, because he's a physical unit, he wouldn't have crit. Alright, so does he get more attack for being linked up with Vegeta? He does. But he won't have his passive active, so we're going to do this instead. Wait. 255. 245, okay. So he gets more from being linked up with Bardock. Um... I think next time we see this, we might... Don't dodge anymore, please. Okay. Oh, his passive was still active. So we're at 1.7, just linked up with Bardock. Hopefully this time he won't just one-shot him, because I want to showcase the additionals a little bit. Okay, he crit. You know, the more we don't see his additionals, the more that it's just showing, like, how good of a unit he is. Because he doesn't really need the additionals. You know what I'm saying? Uh... And also, um, here in this showcase, he is getting 18 keys a lot more often than he normally would, like, out in the wild. Um, just because I'm, like, setting up orbs for him on the other rotation, and I'm not really caring about super attacks. But that's not realistic for, like, what you guys will be doing, most likely. And also, I think Turles just stunned? Yes, Turles did just stun. Um, now what sucks about that is that when we see Vegeta here, his passive won't be active. Well, second half of his passive will be active. He'll still be getting 15,000 attack and 20,000 defense. Um, and I know a lot of people are complaining about prime battles, because apparently this is a lot of people's first prime battle. I don't know. Um, but, you know, if you think about it too much, it is very, like, uh, like, kind of scary. But, if you just do it... Alright, he's at 1.6 here. I don't know if his passive is still going or not. It might be. At this point, I'm not even like thinking about it and he didn't get additionals i thought he had two guaranteed di oh his passive wasn't active okay that's why i didn't get the additionals so there he was at like 1.6 1.7 without his passive um so you know what sucks about this is we're probably gonna have to give this vegeta the dokkan mode please no please no please no please no dang it vegeta's getting the dokkan mode I'm not going to press any of the buttons. Um, okay. It goes against all of my instincts to just watch a Dokkan mode pass, but <clears throat> it is what it is. Yeah. Um, and Global just got the keys uh, recently, so now it will be easier for me to record like Super Battle Road videos, and I think I'm going to do a Peppy Gout Super Battle Road video for... First of all, because I actually haven't done that on the channel yet. And second of all, a lot of the units on the Pippi Hells category recently got Awakenings. So they're looking like good, good. Um, what do you change? Red to orange. Mm hmm. That would give us a little extra. Sure, you know what, we'll do it. This is our last orange changer item. Um, and I know a lot of people for showcases will just bring like a whole bunch of actual, like, key support items, like the Fruit of the Tree Might, Hercule, whatever. Um, I'm not doing that just because I barely have any of those, and we have a world tournament coming up, and I use those as, like, until I'm out of them in the world tournament. You know, if Vegeta, like, if he dodges Vegeta's attack, this Goku won't look half bad. Alright, 1.9. And one thing I don't like about this Vegeta being an type is he has to have level 5 dodge. Which does mean, like, his pat sometimes he'll dodge and he won't activate his own passive. Alright, see, like, those additionals, he just had an 800k, and then it... This is what this Vegeta does. Like, he's very good. 
he would the only way he could be better, honestly, would be if they gave him prepared for battle. Like, hold up, I'm gonna go look at his link set. Cause I think hold up. Maybe get rid of Royal Lineage. Yeah, definitely get rid of Royal Lineage for prepared for battle. And this is like the second best free to play LR in the game. Because LR Goku and Arale yeah, LR Goku and Arale. I definitely think are better than this Vegeta, even if he had prepared for battle. But if not, I would say he rivals Vegito Blue and Metal Cooler. Alright. I think we're just going to get one last rotation here with Vegeta. And then we're going to do a little breakdown. And then I will... If it is like 2.9 like I think it is, um, I will put in that footage of like that I got yesterday right after I got him. Um... And actually, one thing about this Vegeta is for a free play LR, his attack stat is like super high. Like in my box, I have it sorted by like, I think it's either cost or level, and then attack. This Vegeta is like in second place. Uh, it's hit, it's LR Frieza, uh, my rainbow LR Frieza is better than him, and that's it. Um, actually it's sorted by cost, because I remember the summonable LRs are all, all underneath them. Because I'm pretty sure my LR Goku Black has more attack. Than both of them, but all right, 1.9 he dodged. 400k on normals is a lot, though. Don't get it twisted. Look, like, that's not bad at all. And that time he actually didn't get an additional attack. So next rotation, we're gonna break him down, and then I'm gonna try and speed it at this video and get it out as soon as possible, <laughs> cause we're already pretty late. Most of the time, I try to upload my videos between like 10 a.m. and noon, but. Ed stuff I needed to do today. Alright, yada yada yada. Um, alright. This is Awakened Saiyan Blood. Super Saiyan Vegeta. Uh, his leader skill, which we are going to be doing a video on soon, is Pure Saiyan's category 3 key, HP attack and defense 70%. The video we're going to be doing on this is the Pure Saiyan's category, like, free to play team. It is actually a pretty solid team. I couldn't think about what unit to put in the last spot, and I was like, can I bring this guy? Because this guy, like a lot of people would say he's not free to play, but he definitely is free to play. Like, especially with all the Peppy Gal Awakenings, like if you have any good Peppy Gal units, that stage is super easy. Um, so I'm bringing that guy in the Pure Saints video. Spoilers. Um, now, on his 12 key super, it's called the Photon Bomb, uh, which causes colossal damage to enemy. And then his 18 key is the Big Bang Attack. Which I feel like it should be called something like Big Bang Attack Combo or something, because he does more than just the Big Bang Attack, but whatever. And it greatly raises damage for one turn, yeah. Greatly raises attack for one turn and causes mega colossal damage. And his passive is attack plus 15,000 and defense plus 20,000 plus an addition. So that's just at the start of turn that is always happening. And then he gets an additional 15,000 attack and launches up to two additional, like, attacks after he's been hit for four turns. And the thing about that is, like, it's not like the Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken thing, or like the Super Saiyan 3 Goku thing, where like, after seven turns, it's just over. After four turns, he can get hit again, and his passive will just reactivate, um, which is very nice. Uh, splits I gave him, I gave him nine additional, just so we can see that fourth attack a lot more often. Well, not a lot more often, a little more often. 12 crit. Uh, and 5 dodge because we had to give him 5 dodge. This is one of the rare units that I actually wouldn't give dodge to um, just because I don't want to be dodging attacks that could activate his passive, you know? Uh, and his links are Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan Prodigies, Saiyan Pride, Royal Lineage, Shadowing the Limit, and per Legendary Power. Not prepared for battle. Um, his categories are the Pure Saiyans category. Um, anyways guys, if you did enjoy this video, please consider leaving a like, a comment, subscribe to the channel, my name has been Blah Ruff, and I will see you guys next time.